Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Once again, it is time for my Lifter Michelle's training vlog. Uh, for those who are unaware, this is part one of the week. Uh, she does six workouts, and I'm now splitting the vlogs into three sessions because she does three basic rep ranges. Uh, we do an upper, lower, six days a week. So we start off with her heavier work. This is our kind of our power building days. And then we go into just more and more hypertrophy volume and bodybuilding as we flow into the week. So we start off heavy here. Um, on our upper, we obviously start with bench. And then uh, we're doing weighted chin-ups now. Okay, first time we've had her do weighted chin-ups, I think, pretty much ever. Uh, she used to do a lot of chin-ups. I had her doing pull-ups. And we're like, okay, she wants to see where they were at. Like, so let's program them. Uh, this is a 45 pound plate. This is three reps. So we just did some sets of six with 130 on the bench. We're gonna go to 135 next week because we're not failure. All right, so right here we have three chin-ups with a 45 pound plate. All right, we're gonna have that to three sets of five by the end of this training block. That's the goal, okay? Then she dropped down to a 25 and we just did a couple sets of rep work. So again, uh, weighted chins. So yes, I have a female lifter repping 45 pounds on weighted chin ups. Not a max, that was a triple. Okay, yes, I am aware about how crazy that is. Uh, very, very aware. Uh, but, you know, it's Michelle. This is what we expect. Lifelong athlete. So again, her training is, is kind of that extreme. We are at that level. And I do want to remind people when this comes up, and they're like, how does she train like this six days a week and daily cardio? She lives like a pro athlete. Keeping in mind, she is a former professional athlete, and we are working on being a pro athlete again. All right, she was a pro boxer. We got her to world level in powerlifting. And now we're working towards pro card and bikini or figure. Uh, so she is going to be a pro athlete again. All right. Uh, so then decline bench, we did some sets of 10 with 135. Uh, this might be the last set. I'm not sure if she got 10 on it. She may have. So we're trying to get three sets of 10 there. Uh, but I think that's the last set. So that's going to be the hardest one. She's reaching failure. All right. Uh, then for the rest of this day, uh, we came in, we do some overhead pressing, right? Some strict standing presses. Um, she ripped this out just fine. And yes, that is a full 45 pound bar with little plates on it, okay? Reps it for days. After doing all that benching and decline work. So again, the gains are coming along. And for those who don't understand what we're doing, we do for most of the body parts, we do one exercise. Obviously some of the compound movements, we do a couple. So we did two, two types of chest pressing, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, some of the days we do two types of lat work. Uh, on this day, we really didn't. So we do our chins and then we focus mostly on pressing. So then after that, we do upright rows, but I think she did, it's got the curls first in the footage, or it could be the, the order that I downloaded them in. But again, this is all heavy basic stuff still. So if you guys will notice on this day, it's, it's a bunch of barbell movements, weighted chins, we do curls, we do upright rows. Uh, then we do the only real smaller movement we kind of do on this day is going to be the, the tricep press downs, right? Um, because again, we need that long head work. So we're always gonna isolate her triceps, always gonna isolate them. But on this day, we don't really isolate delts. We do two big movements for her delts. Um, keeping in mind, I'm not as worried about back because we do a lot of back stuff. So if you guys watch through the week, we end up doing about 15 total sets for her lats and back throughout the week. You know, even though on this day, we don't do necessarily a whole lot of it. Uh, but again, as you guys notice, look at the shoulder development at this point, right? She's thickening up. We're seeing gains. She's getting thick. She's getting strong again uh, now that, that I'm coaching her as the full-time coach here. So again, making those gains. And she puts in the work day after day after day. Uh, yes, she outworks anybody I've ever coached. And it's just, just a fact, and other people see it. I've had clients who are like, I bet I could. They're like, oh wait, never. Then they realize what she does. And you know, again, I tell them, no, you're seeing the training here. You're not seeing the outer of cardio every day. You're not seeing the other stuff. 
Uh, so squats, um, I don't remember what I had on this day. It was just 195. Uh, we did some sets of six astographs. We're gonna have this up to rep in 225 uh, real, real soon as we, we build her big three back up, all right? Have her repping that real quick. Uh, but again, deep squats. So she's gone over from those squats that were right at the bleeding edge of depth so that now that we're bodybuilding, we're hitting deep, deep, deep squats, okay? Uh, we want that quad development. So even on the big movement, we are focusing on that. Uh, but, but again, it's still gonna carry over, all right? Deadlifts, we're really sandbagging at this point, keeping in mind um, I had her break state records on deadlifts in two different states. So again, deadlifts is a strong point for her. This was a sub-maximal set. Like, uh, I had her stop at six and she hit, you know, when she got the footage, she's like, I could have done a few more reps. So the deadlift strength is coming back up rapidly. Um, she's going to be repping 315 before long. This was 265. She could have done 10 reps. We got six. Notice the bar speeds. But again, we're we're giving ourselves some runway on the big three, right? See the smile on her face when she got to six because she's like, yeah, that was easy. What else you got, coach? All right, leg presses over here. And this is our um, isolateral leg work for the day, right? Just doing one leg at a time. Again, one of our bigger movements and keep in mind we do a lot of really really deep stuff later in the week so we get the hack squats and things it's kind of hard on this device to get super deep and that's okay so in this case we just we come in get some solid work in uh, and again keep the leg development going notice her quads have been coming up right of course it shouldn't have shorts on today so you can't see them as well uh, but the quads have been coming up calves have been coming up all this stuff that we need uh, again, everything's falling in place. So she is about six months out from the stage at this point, right? So again, keeping it going. Now that we hit that that PR on the calf raise that we were competing on now, now I'm having her drop it down and just really focus on squeezing and pushing and getting a burn, a few more reps. And we're just going to progressively overload this back up. The main thing is I needed her thinking for a bit in terms of moving big weights, being a competitor on the calf raise. So that was kind of the point of that. I needed her to not hold back on these, to give it 100%, not be afraid of the big weight. So she got up to doing... Uh, you know, sets of 405. Now we're going to chase a burn a little bit, a little higher quality reps. 315, now that she knows the strength is there, then we'll build back up to doing on that style, you know, with eventually 405. Um, afterwards, we have glute ham raises, right? Uh, again, one of the better hamstring exercises we can do because it actually works both functions of the hamstring concurrently. So if you're pursuing maximum development, great exercise to do. Right? Great exercise to do. And then, of course, we finish up with more calf work. So we do a standing and a seated calf raise all three lower days. Because, again, the importance of calves for physique, just like I needed to push her hard on those calf raises to understand what she was capable of. And now that she found it, now we can, we can just push the volume and stuff harder. Once she realized she can handle those big weights, and she did, and she, she conquered them, we back it off a hair now and then push push the quality, push those sets to failure, and then build it back up. All right, seated calf raises though, this is a finesse movement, we don't treat it the same way. And then here she is doing some weighted toe to bars. Yep, so for abs, she grabs some ankle weights, she's got those ankle weights on, goes over, finishes up toe to bars. Again, the ab strength, fantastic. Um, all right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.